Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. A buddy of mine on the internet, I think it's case 7 JLJ, was talking about comms preparedness the other day. So I thought, well, let me grab my antennas, let me grab my radio, battery pack, grab the dogs, and just go and make a rapid deployment simulation. So that's what we're doing today. Stick with me, let's check it out. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. So the objectives of this exercise were to make my way to the highest point in the local area, deploy the FT-817 and IMPAS kit, uh, send a whisper beacon two times within five minutes, uh, check the reception reports, then tear it all down and uh, head home. So I found these wooden stakes here. So I can mount the impost to these wooden stakes. And there's a good overlook to the sea. The frozen sea. <laughs> so let's set up and do a whisper test. And then tear it down and uh, head back to the homestead. The very first thing we do is uh, attach the jaw mount to this wooden structure. It's perfectly okay that we don't have a metal ground plane to attach the jaw mount to because we'll use the element, the wire element, as the counterpoise. Next we'll deploy the mill whip and attach it to the riser and the jaw mount. Now we'll take the wire element and run that out as our counterpoise. Now we can go ahead and attach the coaxial cable from the kit up to the hybrid micro. So inside the kit, everything is already connected up. All the internal connections are already connected to make it easier and faster to deploy once we get out there. Go to relax, boys. So this part is pretty boring, so I'll speed it up and just narrate. So what we're doing is uh, setting up the radio. We switch over to 30 meters. We use the Whisper Beacon app to tune up with the Z817 and FT817. And then we check the settings in the Whisper Beacon app and make sure that it's set up so that we can start beaconing. Once that's done, you start your beacon and you let it go. I set up the Whisper Beacon app to beacon twice in four minutes, and I'll show you the results of the beacon at the end of the video. So this is what the station sounds like, and what it looks like when it's totally set up. Sounds like JT-65 and other Whisper stations in the background. Tearing everything down is just the reverse of deployment. It goes down pretty quick and simple and packs up easy. Having everything that deploys out of a bag is really critical to the rapid deployment nature of the kit. 
I think this bag is Condor or something like that, but I've been looking at the Vanquist gear and I think that some of those bags they have for first aid and paramedics might fit very well for these kits. Take me home, boys. Let's go. So the whole kit includes the Yezu FT-817ND, the Chameleon Impasse, the LDG Z817 semi-automatic tuner, a 12 volt 5.4 amp battery pack, a Samsung Galaxy S4 Edge, Wolfie Link interface, and a messenger bag. That's it. Now, other than a quick verification to make sure we were being received by some stations in the field, I really had no idea that the results looked this good. Anyway, I learned a lot from this exercise and I think I'm actually going to continue them. And that brings us to the end of the video. Remember guys, if you think we're doing a great job on the channel, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know someone who you think might enjoy this video, please share it with them. With that, I say rock and roll, and thanks for watching. Ciao.